Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, Aveline here. Uh, today I'm doing the hashtag tarot gratitude, um, which comes at a brilliant time because yesterday was Thanksgiving, so I'm sure my American friends are still sort of in the mood of like saying what you're grateful for, which I think is like a good um, one of those things that uh, we can, you know, copy from the Americans and, and start to pay a bit more attention to. Um, although I did a whole video about my issues with the word gratitude, <laughs> but let's not get into that right now. <laughs> I do uh, keep a list of three daily joys and um, yeah, that's been really, really helpful this year. Um, but yeah, this is a, a three question tag, which shouldn't take too long, but then, you know, best not say that ahead of time because you never know, I might start to ramble. Um, but yeah, three questions regarding tarot and uh, what you're most grateful for. Um, what deck are you most grateful for in your tarot journey? Now there's a couple of sort of like, um, yeah, special points in, in my tarot journey. Um, so I've got sort of like th three, maybe four decks that I'm really, really, you know, they've They've got a special place in my heart because of what they represent along my journey. The first being the Gilded Tarot because that was the first um, tarot deck that I started working with. Um, and I'm so tempted to like show all, th all four, but you know, I'm, I'm sure you, if you've been following my um, channel for any time, uh, you will know the ones that I've got here. Uh, because I've mentioned them over and over and over again. Uh, but, and this will come as no surprise either, um, the deck I am most grateful for is, of course, the Everyday Witch. <laughs> um, it's the deck that I first started to trust, not only my knowledge, which is a big thing, for me but also my intuition um, it's the first deck that I've really put the book away and not looked at um, I, I mean I read it once it was a good book <laughs> but I read it once and after that I put it away and I've not really touched it since um, it's a deck that I don't have to um, like second guess myself um, although sometimes I go like, oh, I don't know how this relates to um, a question that's been asked or, or something like that. Um, but, um, yeah, it's the first deck that I uh, trust myself and, and I don't have to uh, sort of check to see if I'm right, you know, if what I'm saying is correct with what is in the cards. Um it's the first deck also that I can um, uh, like elaborate on things using the artwork um, of the cards. They're very, um, yeah, like, I, I've never really done that before with other decks. I have done since, but this is sort of like the first deck that I've been able to do that. And um, yeah, it's sort of, it's sort of, um, opened up my um, tarot reading abilities and um, yeah I, I really really love that about this deck um, and, and I'm really grateful for uh, that it's done that I've edged it in blue um, I haven't done a brilliant job I might have to go over it again because I've missed a couple of bits see but um, yeah uh, I use it on a almost daily basis um, I use it a lot as you know for uh, readings um, on camera um, because it's just a, a very uh, um, easy read for me and um, yeah I love this deck yes <sighs> um, the second question is what tarot book are you most grateful for Now I've got Benabel Wen's um, Holistic um, Tarot, which I've read just a tiny, tiny bit of, and it's on my sort of 
goal list for next year because yeah it's still a bit sort of like intimidating <laughs> daunting uh, even with the um, beginner's guide that I've printed out and um, it's yeah it's a proper study book isn't it so um, but I do want like it was a Christmas present last year and um, yeah I, I do want to get back to it I've also got around the tarot in 78 days and my plan for next year is to actually uh, do the 78 days not in one go because you know life um, and I just know myself I could never like do that every single day for 78 days um, but yeah to to actually go through the book as sort of like a course and not just use it for reference so uh, those are the two other books I've got and then I've got this one and this is the book I am most grateful for um, this is uh, the book that actually came with uh, the Gilded Terror in a set. I've mentioned this before. And um, yeah, this is the book that I... Uh, let's see, I've got the date in it. 25th of December 2015. Um, yeah. This is the book where I start, that I started learning tarot with properly. Um, so it's got... Um, yeah, s sort of... This helped me figure out um, uh, what the cards actually mean and, and how it works. And I mean, I'd been watching uh, tarot videos before that. Uh, so I knew of sort of the structure of the deck. But um, yeah, it helped seeing it sort of in black and white and, and like having the cards to go with it. And yeah. So that's, that's the book that I am most grateful for. It's by Josephine Ellershaw. Ellershaw. Um, I will put a link down below. I, I'm not sure if you can still get the kit. I saw that it was no longer available on Amazon, but you might be able to find it on um, other sources. And if not, I think this book is sold separately as well. I have to have a look. I'm not 100% sure on that. So, yeah. Um... But that was really sort of like a big, a proper beginner's book. And, um, but yeah, that's what I'm most grateful for in my journey so far. Um, and then the third and most difficult question, what tarot channel are you most grateful for in your tarot journey? <sighs> you know, a while back we did that um, reversed tarot troll. Uh, video uh, response to like everyone did that it was Tom Benjamin who um, started that tag and I listed like quite a long list of people that I, I really love watching and I'm grateful to all of you because you keep me company on a daily basis and I learn so much from you and it's so much fun being like part of this community and interacting with everyone in comments and um, uh, private messages, emails. Um, uh, on the Facebook group, we have a lot of fun. Uh, you bunch of enablers, you. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, so um, like the whole tarot community is has been so amazing. Um, and there's also also been channels that I've watched even before I started doing tarot and they've sort of um like they started me off being interested in tarot and um so yeah but and I've seen other people mention this channel as well and the channel I am most grateful for um I'm not so sure if it's like this tarot journey or but I'll explain um is Ethany Ethany um has been amazing uh with all her tarot related videos um all her walkthroughs all her um thought provoking um um topics that she puts out um but I am most grateful for the 31 days of tarot video series that she's been doing on uh, in January 
um, because that is where I met most of you. That's where I found you by uh, joining in this uh, this tag. And uh, because when you do join the tag um, and you contact Ethany about this, your name uh, comes up on the list. And um, yeah, every day the list grows and you can see more people doing this tag and it, of course it shows up on the side of your uh, YouTube and you can click on all those different new channels and you find more people and you know some people you really really click with and um, yeah it's where I found most of you and it's been almost a year now that um, I've been doing these tarot videos and I was so glad to uh, jump in last year because the year before I've been watching uh, the videos but I didn't have my tarot channel up yet um, so yeah I'm, I'm very very grateful for Ethany um, but then like I said it's not so much like although I did learn I do learn a lot from from Ethany but primarily it's because of the community sense of her channel and uh, what she does with the January 31 Days of Tarot tag. Yes. <sighs> that wasn't that, that rambly, was it? No. I'm quite proud of myself. Of myself. Uh, yeah. <laughs> right, everyone. Uh, thank you so very, very much for watching. I hope everyone in America has had a lovely Thanksgiving. And um, the rest of you, I've, I hope you've had a lovely uh, couple of days as well. And, um, you know, I, I thank you so very much for watching and I will see you again very soon.